You know, for years, SF2 mods have been coming out, and I've been playing these SF2 mods, but now it's time to review some SF2 mods. I had the idea for doing this for a while, but I didn't do it because at the time, I felt because of the quality of some mods, I didn't want to come off as mean in my criticisms. But with how high quality the mods are these days, I can mostly focus my criticisms on the moveset and rather than if the mod showed Mario for one frame. So let's start this new review series with Yeah, my first review is a Dragon Ball mod. Go figure, am I right? Yeah, I know Dragon Ball mods have been a point of contention in the SF2 community due to their popularity, but I wanted to start with a mod I really liked. After seeing the Dragon Ball Super Broly movie, Broly really became one of my favorite Dragon Ball characters. Probably because they added green to his color scheme. I like the color green. I don't want to spoil the story for people who haven't seen the movie, but Broly is a Saiyan like Goku and Vegeta with overwhelming natural power and strength. An awesome modder, Duco45, is able to make a mod that captures this. One thing about being in this community for so long is you get to see modders as they rise in skill. I remember this comment on my Super Mario Bros. Z mod pack from him. Where's the Red Axum Ranger mod, Luca? Now technically, this Broly mod is a pilot for Luca's DBZ Broly mod, but according to Luca, it has enhanced effects, different sound clips, and a new final smash. So technically, I'm reviewing a clone character, but that's not that deep. Wow, this guy is big. In normal view, his full body doesn't fit on the screen, and this color pad looks pretty good overall. Moving on to the move set. I think Luca found a way to make Broly feel like he could have been made by McCloud Gaming themselves. What I mean by that is it feels like the moveset uses McCloud Gaming's Goku as a template. Similar to Marth and Ike, they are not clones, but they share moveset DNA. Broly feels like a more aggressive Goku, which is kind of what he is, I guess. Broly doesn't really have any major mechanic, he's a pretty straightforward character. If I have to describe him, He's a heavy zoner. Now, I don't consider myself a pro player when it comes to Smash, so I don't know if that's an accurate assessment. But he's pretty big and suits Energy Blast. I mean, you could also call him a grappler, but I would say high play of him would make use of his Energy Blast the most compared to his grapple move. But overall, I think Broly has a fun moveset that represents him pretty well. I do have some negative criticisms. I kind of find him a little stiff, and after some testing, I found out that Broly is unable to pick up items. I didn't test every item, but this seems to be the case. The Smash Ball yeah. is still obtainable, though. <laughs> but outside of that, I think Luga did a great job with this mod, and I would say it's one of my favorite mods in recent years. There's currently a new DBS Broly mod in the works that seems to be taking its moveset from Fighter Z, which has cool references to the movie. So it'll be interesting to see how that mod will play. Well, guys, thanks for watching this episode of SF2 Mod Reviews. If there are any SF2 mods you want me to review next, ask me in the comments below. You guys have a nice day, drink water, and God bless.